But hello, everyone. Another version of uh, Better Call Art. And uh, it's a beautiful Friday. The sun is out. Today, we're here with Kevin Hoverman. And Ho Kevin is with uh, Everyone Print. Say hello to everyone, Kevin. Hey, everybody. Happy Friday. Yeah, it's a good day. Uh, I'll take one of your lines. It's a good day to go sell something, right? It is. It's always a good day to sell something, Absolutely. especially when the sun is shining on a Friday afternoon. Come on. Doesn't get any better than that. No, no, it's uh, uh, going to be uh, going to be a great weekend, and uh, hopefully we get many more of these moving into the summer. Mm -hmm. So, um, so for everyone, uh, you know, for everybody who's watching this, one of the things that um, I like to uh, bring out in these uh, um, short videos is I like to um, make uh, all the, the reps, our reps, our members aware of uh, uh, new technologies. Um, and, and, and different things maybe you need to consider to either uh, garner a net new client or, or just to help an existing client or be different than, than the guy down the street. And that's one of my reasons for bringing uh, Kevin on uh, with Everyone Print uh, because uh, when we spoke, uh, I guess it was the uh, first time we spoke was a couple of months ago, he told me about cloud printing. And I have no clue. I didn't know what cloud printing was, never heard of it before. So I thought that would be a great topic for us to cover. So Kevin, if you could, um, please tell, you know, enlighten us about cloud printing and, you know, why, why, it's, why it's cool. Yeah, appreciate that, Art. So, uh, you know, from a real high level um, standpoint, it's simply moving print from an on-prem print server and putting it into a cloud instance. What does that really mean? Well, typically print servers are the last thing to migrate. You know, as people are moving to Microsoft 365, they're taking their Outlook servers and they're putting them in the cloud or they're moving to document management and they're putting that instance in the cloud or SharePoint, all of those things that people have done. The print server is typically the last thing to go. Um, and partly that's because there was no way to move that to the cloud and have it function. But what it really is, is taking that server, that box that, you know, you have to pay for a license for and you have to keep patched and all of those fun things and putting it into a, a cloud instance. You know, we happen to host an AWS, but we can do it in Azure or a bunch of other uh, places. Yeah. And that gives you redundancy and reliability and a little bit of disaster recovery as well. So that no matter where in the world your people are, um, they can print simply and easily. And it really takes the burden off of IT um, because they don't have to manage print drivers. They don't have to manage updates when you change vendors or manufacturers. It's as simple as going into the cloud instance and just changing the manufacturer and people can print. So I read a recent uh, study that said between 40 and 50% of all tickets into IT help desk are print related. And that's right. typically less than 5% of their responsibilities. So, you know, we're uh, cloud printing is something that's coming up more and more in IT as they're trying to figure out how can we eliminate these last few servers that we have on prem and has become even more important in our kind of hybrid and work from home uh, world that we're living in where people are hoteling in and popping in and out of offices and you know, when you go to your local office there in Edison or you go to Reading, how do I know which one I'm printing to? Which driver do I use? Oh, I've got to call IT to get it added. It just eliminates all of that and takes that burden away. And then as updates come out, as security, um, you know, concerns are addressed and updated, it just happens automatically. The end user doesn't have to do anything and IT doesn't have to do anything. Right, right. And the thoughts of updating um, existing print service can be a pretty daunting task at, uh, uh, during uh, these COVID times, correct? It can be. And one of the other challenges that, that you hear a lot, particularly as people are dealing with either older technology uh, or older equipment uh, and combining new equipment is the user experience is typically different. So you know this art, right? If you print into a Ricoh or a Xerox or a Canon, every driver is different. Yep. They all, we all, the industry calls everything stapling or finishing or duplex or two-sided. Which one is it? Which mm -hmm. driver am I using? So when you can make the user experience the same using a single full featured print driver, where it doesn't matter if you're printing to a Ricoh, a KM, a Canon, a Xerox HP, the user experience is the same. And I can duplex, two-hole, punch, staple, and it's the same across. That means 
again, the user experience doesn't change regardless of the manufacturer. IT doesn't have to put any resources to it. And there's no training that has to happen when those fleets change and adjust or machines change and adjust. So if you went from a, you know, an, an MP series Rico to an IMC series Rico, as mm -hmm. an end user, you might have to deal with some challenges as the driver changes a little as buttons move around. But when you have a cloud solution, the driver is the same all the time, regardless of what you do. And as those updates come out, they get pushed out automatically. Nobody has to do anything wow. to do it. That could actually save salespeople and dealers quite a bit of time in the support also. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Interesting. Interesting. Yep. So, so how about a hybrid company? Like, let, let's take the company I work for, Stratix. They're hybrid. Mm -hmm. They got people in the office and people at home. Uh, um, how, did, how does that work? Well, and that's obviously more and more common, right? Um, some people are fully back. Most people are sort of back, right? Yeah. So again, with a cloud print environment, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, we use the hybrid cloud model where we put up an appliance, typically in a VM space inside of the client's network. And then... You can print to your local device. I said, I've got a 14 year old uh, little MFE sitting next to me here that I print to. Um, I, can, I can print here and then I can also print to my local office. You could print to your local Edison office. And when you show up, the job could be waiting for you or you could release it with a badge or a pin or even wow. with your phone when you get there. And again, what's cool about it is it knows where you are. There's location awareness. So if you went in and opened your laptop, the only drivers you would have would be the ones, the devices you have access to in the location you're at. And as soon as you leave that location and go to a new location, those drivers go away. And the only driver you'll have is for the new location that you can access to. So nice. as you think of people popping in and out or hoteling, and one day I go to Reading right. and the next day I'm in Edison, that used to be, uh-oh, what is the one I want? Right. You hit file print, you have 25 drivers and they're all always well named. Right. Oh, yeah. It always says oh, yeah. Edison mm -hmm. and while missing. Right. Clearly. Mm -hmm. um, the user experience is really I have to call IT and get them to add a driver or, hey, did anyone see where my print job went? Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And when you can combine the ability to do a secure release, either with a badge or a pin or your phone even uh, or use a the location awareness where I just hit file print and the only one I have is that one that I have access to that's called accounting printer or sales printer or whatever it may be. It really, again, just completely eases the burden on IT of those painful calls that nobody liked to do that are super low priority for everybody, but right. tend to take a lot of time. Right. So basically saves time, saves money. Um, Reduces costs. Interesting. So probably the most important question is how do how do guys and gals like me, how do how, how can we make money off of this? Or how can we I met I know we can give them a better client experience if they, you know, go get the everyone print, you know, the cloud printing, everyone print, but but how do, how can how can we how can we do better? How can we make money? Yeah. So there's sort of two ways. And when I was uh, helping to run a sales team in a dealership, um, this is the approach we took, which was, you know, when we're going out to sell new business or we're putting a machine out to have that conversation with IT, and that's a great target to just say, hey, if you never had to manage your drivers again, would you be willing to pay an extra 25 or 30 bucks a month? Good question. Very, very good question. Right. Uh, and now, if you walked into somebody on the copier side of the business and they said, ah, we just signed a lease for three or four years, you're going to put that info in your CRM and then you're going to call them back in two and a half years, right? Right. Well, how, how about if instead you went, that's great. I'm actually, I, I'm not here to talk to you about your copier. I'm here to talk to your IT department about never having to manage your driver again. Because you can put this solution in even on equipment that you're not servicing and just help IT manage the driver issue, eliminate print servers, help with that cloud first approach or move to the cloud that has nothing to do with the MFP. But I guarantee you that when that MFP does come up, if you are managing their drivers, do you think IT is going to let them go with somebody else? No. 
they're going to say those people who made it. So I never had to talk to an end user about a print driver again, whatever they tell us to get is what we're getting. Right. Okay. So, and again, you're talking for 20 bucks a month per device. How about you never have to manage a driver again? That's pretty compelling. Subscription based. Yeah. Right. It is. It is. So depending on your, uh, the way your dealership wants to acquire it, you could do uh, monthly, annually, 12, 24, 36, 48, 60. And then the more devices you bundle under one uh, customer, the, the lower your per device costs are and the longer your term, the lower your per, per device costs is, but it's delivered as a SaaS model. So there's no ongoing maintenance that you have to deal with. There's no, we got to take your server down to update your settings. Nice. It's, hey, we just pushed out version 3.2. And with that came all these new features that, by the way, you already have. You don't have to do anything, they're live. Congratulations. Nice. Nice. Yep. Nice. Definitely some uh, good stuff and definitely some good ideas. Um, that's cool. I'm going to thank you very, very much for your time on today. Um, I yeah. appreciate you coming on. And uh, if you could uh, tell our members... Uh, you know, how they can get a hold of you, best way to get a hold of you? Yeah. So uh, easiest way to get a hold of me, one, I'm going to be at uh, the BTA Spring Break event uh, on April 1st. So if you're going to be there, come by and see us. Uh, also, uh, you can send me an email, Kevin.Hoverman, H-O-V as in Victor, E-R-M-A-N. I got to get me one of them hats. <laughs> Kevin.Hoverman at everyoneprint.com. Yep. Uh, you can hit me up on LinkedIn, or if you want to give me a call, 703 703- eight six three two zero five three so um love to help and uh looking forward to getting out um it's been fun i've been out visiting a couple dealers in person so happy to get out and do that too uh as the world opens back up hopefully and uh very excited to be in florida with uh 80 or so uh dealers in attendance there yeah it should be a lot of fun and uh, just want to um um give everybody just a little bit of the background um i really uh, admire people who um, keep up to date on their knowledge and their technology and you couldn't speak to a better uh, better guy here so um, give them a call I, I mean definitely give them a call see how they can help um, and uh, give them a chance yeah Kevin, appreciate that art thank you very much have a great Bye. weekend you have yourself a good Thanks, weekend everybody.